Hello and welcome to Stream Topicless. Grab the box of Panadol. We're going to have some fun. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Krita AI Diffusion 1.17 and the ability to uh, add more samplers. And we're also going to take a look at um, that Laura problem, which you're probably getting uh, every time you try to run one of the samplers. So we're going to take a look at uh, fixing that. So, uh, yeah, we'll get over to the intro and then we'll get on with the show. Okay, so here we are in Kryter. Isn't this wonderful? This is the same image that I run all the time. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll just... Hang on, I'll bring this up quickly. So this is just a screen grab from the uh, 3060. So I had this LoRa um, sampler come up uh, after removing the uh, custom sampler directory. So we can see that it's a um, it's a normal um, Keras. So uh, sorry, non Keras. Um, literally, what it says. And I've used this hundreds of times with these steps and got beautiful results on uh, this particular model. And uh, I thought I would test it out after it came up since I didn't test it in the previous video. And um, that was the result. So we can see these these are the artifacts that I get on uh, all the samplers, um, some worse than others. And this is it turned down to um, lower steps. So 30, uh, I think this is between 20 and 30 steps. This one here was like um, 10 steps. And yeah, CFG was um, three on both. So yeah, uh, messy, uh, very messy. And yeah, so yeah, we can see that there. That's the one that come up in 3060. Um, you can see the image here rendered. Uh, this is just using, this is uh, done on the uh, GTX 1070, uh, just using his um, lightning merge. And it doesn't matter which one I click. Uh, these will all result in... Um, bad images like this or um really poor okay so that's the um the prompt there now this is usually what i get with the um the model that i'm using on the uh, well all samplers it doesn't matter which one i run they'll just be um either take longer or be slightly different in some way but uh, i get beautiful beautiful results um, but since going to the 1.17 um i'm just getting an absolute hot mess and uh, yeah, it's a bit sad. But uh, what you're here for is two things today. So we're going to bring open our settings. So pop that up. I'm going to change this down to a lightning. And we're going to put that on there and we'll click it. And we're going to get this error. So what I'm going to do is I will leave a link um, to wherever YouTube decides to slap it. So it may be below, might be to the left, might be to the right, might be up. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, um, YouTube are changing their layout. You're going to come onto here. You're going to click on download and you're just going to download uh, this file here. Okay. So I already have it. So I'm going to kill that off. Once you have that file, you're just going to dump it in your LoRa directory. So go over to that and show you. Okay, so you're going to go into uh, your PC name and then you're going to go into App Data Roaming Kryter, PY Kryter, which is short for Python. Uh, and then we're going to go into AI Diffusion, dot server, Comfy UI, Models, Loris. And then we're going to just dump it in there. It's just as simple as that. And once it's in there, this is um, probably going to solve your problems. And of course, I'll leave a link again to the side below wherever the heck it is uh to um that directory so well, not a link rather but um i'll have the path in the description once that is done we're going to have to close off kryter and we will reopen it okay so now we're back in kryter and it's reloaded and we've dumped that in we can come down we can see it's, still see it's on lightning we leave it on the steps we have our uh, prompt in there and we click it, and now we do not get that error. So um, that, that's it. That's for that. That's pretty simple fix. And we didn't need that before. So I'm not sure why it was implemented, because uh, um, on the 3060 and this system, um, I actually find 
Well, obviously, um, 1.15, um, every render was far better quality anyway. So I was going to say that um, I didn't see a quality difference, but of course I'm not saying the quality difference because of um, just a huge mess uh, on both systems. Right. Now we're going to take a look at adding samplers to it. Uh, so we can create samplers now, which is actually fantastic because uh, you can mix and match um, the way the samplers actually work. So that changes the way the AI uh, creates your image. So you can, depending on the model that you're using, um, by playing with a different sampler, uh, you can affect the style. So you can get something which is more cartoon to the animation with certain samplers. Uh, with other samplers, they more push to realism. So it's very, very handy to be able to uh, add and have all the samplers now, uh, which I absolutely love. And of course, I will um, leave a link to my cloud and I'll put my samplers in the cloud. So if you want to just download that, and drop it in the back um, directory, go for it. And then you can go through and test them out. And uh, of course you can just delete the ones out of that file and just as simple as that. So we'll move over to that. Okay, so again, what we wanna do is we wanna go into the name of your PC, uh, App Data Roaming Criter AI Diffusion. So this one's at the top. So this isn't in the, um, the PY Criter folder. And you're going to come in and you're going to see these uh, presets. Don't mind me. It is, I recommend back these up. Back them up for whenever you uh, update. Because obviously with the um, the like the preset styles which are in here. Uh, with the change in the version. Uh, everything which is in these is changing. Because this doesn't exist anymore. Because we've only got the new ones. So that's going to change. And it's going to automatically change everything in here. So if you wanted to roll back to 1.5, you're going to have to work out what your steps are to actually do it. And we can see here that, you know, I've run the uh, the Keras before and um, just get really beautiful results running at these steps. And with the new um, one, I don't get that. So, yeah, that's why I'll be rolling back myself. So we want to come into here and we'll come into these presets. We have this new folder. So you just want to go edit. And it's probably going to ask what you want to open it up with. You can choose your Notepad, TextPad, or install uh, Notepad++, which you can download free as well. And this shows you the, um, the sample of it. Now, it's funny because this didn't actually come up on the, um, the other system until I deleted this here. And every time I had brackets, it wouldn't see this folder. In this one, we can actually see that um, this has been read because if I open up Criter, it actually shows the a sample in the um, the drop down list, but I'm not getting that on the uh, 3060. So um, yeah, the only way I can get it to work on the 3060 is remove these here, which is very unusual. So we'll just open this up. I'm just working on a small size here. I work on a large size on the uh, other computer because it can handle it. So we can come through and we can drop the drop down and we'll actually see it there. Uh, the other difference is this doesn't work on the other system. On this one, it opens it up. Okay, but I'm going to show you where to drop it so you can put it in. So uh, yeah, there's something odd about that. Uh, and I don't know why that is. I also found that if I have a long length, it doesn't come up on the other system. So I had to have shorter um, names. I can still have a rather long name, um, but not overly long. So yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to back that up just in case we break something. So we're just going to come down and send it to a zip. Okay, yours will be a zip file, a yellow one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a file up for you guys to download. And then you can just replace it in this directory. And if we edit it, we're going to have a whole heap of samplers. An absolute butt ton. Now you notice for these to work, you need to have this comma. If that's missing, 
uh, it just won't read the file and then it's just um, going to come up with the uh, the default ones. So this is what you want to get um, all the samplers. And I've listed them, uh, listed them as they are. That way when you're downloading a uh, model from Civit, uh, Civit AI uh, and it says, hey, it's best with, um, you know, a DPM++3 MSDE Keras, then you know this is the one you'd be running on, you know, and just change the steps. Also, I noticed if... If this matches this, doesn't matter about the bottom part. And this is on 30 steps, and this is on 30 steps, and this is on CFG2, and this is on CFG2. Then when you click this for a model to use, and then you decide to change to the other one, it will automatically just go back to that one. Uh, so I've had to make sure that um, anything which has the uh, same doesn't match for the steps. Now, I basically use lightning models and uh, I find these are the best. And I've, um, yeah, so I've gone through and I've set all these up. So you can come through and you can get an idea of it and you can edit these yourself. And if you don't like certain ones, you can just come through and delete them. Um, for some reason, 1.17, I'm finding anything which is a DPM++ um, 2M, uh, SDE or even the non-SDEs are just a mess. Well, everything is. The only thing I'm finding that um, works okay is the EULAs. The EULAs seem to be sort of working. And I say sort of because they're nowhere near as good as what they were on 1.15. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's some sort of workflow error or what's going on in the background. So these are your samplers. So once they're in there, we can come through and we can load up our writer. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Um, I've opened up Crider and I've uh, done a run. Uh, this is actually just using his creative one. Um, and it shouldn't look like this. Uh, not, with, not with that model. <laughs> so once that's done, you're going to have access to a lot of models. <clears throat> so you've got your SD Lightning, you've got one with Laura and so forth. You can just come through and you can click any one you want and uh, run them. So you can play with them, mix and match, and it's just going to give you, um, you know, everything. And having everything means you can play with it and change your art style uh, more and see which one works better with your um, your physical product. So yeah, this um, this lightning one which I've uh, set up here and um, I've called it lightning. It doesn't have the Laura on it. It is just this, and I've called it lightning because it's really fast. This is actually the Laura which is recommended to use with um, with this particular model. And uh, we can see that we're getting artifacts. It's, you know, the same as before. We're not getting those crisp, clean images that we um, we should be, uh, which, you know, I've... Um, if you head over to Civit AI and you, um, you look up Stream Tabulous, you'll actually find uh, I've posted uh, photos on there of this particular prompt and uh, you'll see that um, the renders are uh, far more detailed um, than what we're getting here and without these artifacts. So uh, yeah, you can go through and um, play with different ones. Uh, for some reason, I find the um, the Eula uh, is probably the uh, better one, which I have less issues with um, for some reason. Uh, still nothing like it was before. Um, so I'll be rolling back to 1.15. But if you're not having problems, this is going to give you so many options to, um, to control the look of your artwork and uh, you'll be able to do a lot more than you've um, been able to do before uh, because you have those samplers there which affect the way um, the AI actually works, uh, affecting the final result to your render. So I'm going to give you a lot of different samplers that you can go through. And of course, when you go through and you click on different ones, you can actually see like the EULA one, for example. Uh, it's just standard uh, EULA U. 
and that's what the uniform is um so you can understand that and that's uh, as you can see we're actually getting less this is the artifacts that i'm talking about it's like it's not finishing we're getting these weird little glitches on it um i'm assuming these blues are a part of that uh defusing and um yeah i mean not working the way it should but if yours is working fine this is going to give you a whole heap of samplers and then you'll be able to um, just control everything a little bit better and get more uh, details because that's what you should be getting. You should be getting more uh, details um, using the this, some of these samplers, which I have put in there. And um, yeah, more refined control. Um, I've got ones in there uh, that I've called Lightning, which are the really fast ones. And uh, you'll see what I mean uh, when you test them out for yourself. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe. Get the bell on for notifications. Let me know if this video is useful. I'll be rolling back to 1.15. It's the one that um, is just beautiful with no issues whatsoever when it comes to um, rendering the images. And uh, hopefully we'll see a rollout uh, that fixes these uh, issues that I'm having of the um, poor quality, low detailed uh, renders. Um, leave a comment below on how yours is doing. Have you gone to 1.17? Are you getting these artifacts? Are you getting these errors? Did you get the Laura error? Um, and, you know, hopefully this fixes it. And, of course, don't forget to go over to Ackley's page, and I'll leave a link to uh, sponsoring him below, and drop a donation in there, because, of course, him working on it and putting his time in, especially when he's got to go through and uh, try to find out bugs like this, and, you know, uh, Windows 11 not having the issue? Is it only affecting Windows 10 PCs? Is it the fact that I'm running Python 10.3? Um, um, you know, is it fussy? Working stuff out like that, I can't imagine the headaches where he sets it up on his system, it's running fine. Uh, it comes over to us, who are essentially the beta testers, and then suddenly yeah, I'm having this problem, having this problem, having this problem. And um, some people might have the same problem. Other people might not be having the same problem. Maybe there's a lot of people that don't render the, um, the detailed fine intricacies that... Um, I butchered that word. Neurological dyslexia, speech problems. <sighs> Maybe they don't have those fine details and the uh, depth of details that uh, I put into um, getting the prompt data so they're not noticing these problems so that'd be interesting but uh yeah like subscribe get the bell on head over to Ackley throw in a donation because his work is absolutely fantastic and we wouldn't have this program without him and I can't stress that enough so he definitely needs your support because more than anything he's probably just saying hey I'm having this problem I'm having this problem because of people don't talk about something when it's good they talk about something when it's bad and by my other videos, you know this is a freaking fantastic program and it's just unbelievable for what it can do and it gives so much power when it comes to um, arts. So, I will see you in the next stream table this video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it really helped me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.